You will need one tablespoon of olive oil and a few splashes of water, one medium carrot, one packet of green patty pan squash, 300 grams of tomato puree, two cans of pinto beans, half a green pepper. So first here I have an onion, a small onion that I'm going to chop up um, into slices and then I'm going to chop those slices into half like so. Now, a tip that I have when you're cutting onion is that you should try and use a sharp knife. We were lucky enough that we have this Thomas knife. It's a very good knife. It's my favorite knife to use when I'm chopping up vegetables. Because, especially when I'm chopping up onions, the onion releasing its juice into your eyes is less if your knife is sharper. So, I'm chopping that. <laughs> Unfortunately today um, it's really gloomy outside so the lighting is really poor but I hope that you still enjoy this video anyway. Um, next I'm going to transfer my carrots onto a plate so that I can make more space on my board. As you can see the kitchen that I'm in is different. This is my home, my humble abode. <laughs> anyway, um, next we're going to cut up our green patty pan squash. If you don't know what that is, it's these squashes that look like Crumbs, I guess. Um, I left this one like this so you guys can see what it looks like in case you're familiar with what it looks like. Um, I went ahead and I cut off the ends of the green patty pan squash just because I don't like what it looks like, and I'm gonna do the same to that one. So I'm gonna cut it into slices. heated and okay, it's kind of oily <laughs> we're going to be putting in about a tablespoon of extra virgin oil we're using the fresh god liver brand we got this from food lovers but i'm sure you can get it about anywhere this pan is really hot about a tablespoon I prefer using 
crushed up garlic that I cut up myself and I eat three cloves of garlic but um, for convenience we decided to get this because the garlic finished and we weren't trying to go to the shops, deep in the shops. And stay safe guys, stay safe. Okay for our spices, we'll be adding half a teaspoon of biryani mix that's pounded ground, half a teaspoon of turmeric and one tablespoon of paprika. If you want, you can also add more oil, but I prefer to add water because I don't like to add oil just just for just. So. It smells divine right now. And to that, we're going to be adding in our bay leaves, two bay leaves that I have here, and one and a half tablespoons of cumin that I'm going to also be adding. Once the onion, the garlic and the ginger start to be aromatic and you can start to smell the spices as well, that's when you know to add the rest of the vegetables because then your, um, garlic, your ginger and your onion have released their sugar and a lovely flavour as a base for the dish. Next we'll be adding some chilli paste. Um, this is a homemade chilli paste that we make. We make this by blending garlic and chilies and salt and olive oil. This has been simmering now for about three minutes and that's enough for you to start smelling the green pepper. I love the smell of cooking green pepper. And to that we're going to add in our cooked beans. Here I have about two cans, I would say, of pinto beans that I'm going to add, which is about 700 grams of pinto beans. Um, what we usually do is, and I advise this for everyone who likes making beans, um, instead of buying many many tins of beans, it's easier if you buy your dried beans and then you batch cook them. And you cook a whole batch in the pressure cooker and then you freeze up what you're not going to use. So that when you want beans they're already cooked and also it's cheaper than buying tins. So I advise that you make your beans yourself 
and you soak them the night before or at least four hours before you cook them to make them cook faster and then that way you don't waste time making beans each time you want to make them you have to boil them all over again and you already have a frozen batch in the freezer otherwise you could just use the tin now that we've added our beans in we're going to be adding in some garlic and pepper seasoning i really like the seasoning because it's easy to use and i could just use this on its own and my vegetables can taste really delicious um this has sea salt black pepper garlic maize crumbs chili herbs and fiber i'll be adding that in i'll be adding in about i don't know maybe half a teaspoon of that we don't waste us so we're just gonna we want all our flavor, we want to pour inside here. Yeah. Okay. And I'm also going to be adding vegetable spice. This one has sea salt, maize crumbs, dehydrated vegetables, onion, leek, garlic, celery, herbs and spices, sugar, virgin olive oil, and fiber. This also tastes really yummy um, with vegetables, especially also half a teaspoon of that we don't waste so we're just gonna we don't waste we want all our flavor we want it all there we go add a little bit of water to the beans to loosen them up we're gonna leave this to cook for plus minus 10 minutes on low and then check it for seasoning and then taste it and then we'll know if it's ready. And now we're gonna make our salad. Um, can stop it. It's, well, I just felt so awkward. <laughs> and now we're gonna make our salad. Now for a salad we're gonna need one bowl. Just gonna get a bowl right here. And here I have a green apple I'm only gonna be using a half of it and the other half I'm gonna probably eat it with peanut butter or something or I don't know save it for another day then I have half a packet of cherry tomatoes some spinach that I'll be using and a third of a cucumber and I almost forgot we also have a quarter of a small onion that we're gonna be using as well I really like onion in my salad I like raw onion but some people really don't so you don't have to put in raw onion when you're making yours just be halving that and we'll be slicing that into thin slices. What I like to do is I take a bigger a bigger leaf. I take a bigger leaf and I use it as a wrap for the smaller leaf. So I'm like I'm making a spinach wrap kind of. A spinach burrito, if I may. <laughs> and then I roll it up. And then I slice it. It just makes it easier to slice. And then you have those small, beautiful ribbons of spinach and I cut that into half again
also had celery to the salad. It wasn't my initial plan because the celery has been in the fridge since the 31st of March. So, yeah, I realized that's not too long ago, but still, um, it needs to be used up. So, I'm just gonna rinse that up. this guys we are gonna cut off the wilted parts and add that to the salad too we don't waste in this household okay now we're gonna move on to our dressing dressings because that's a way that I can make my salads interesting besides adding the ingredients and the spices obviously um, and for our dressing we have some balsamic vinegar I'm using the Varvel brand I don't know what that is but it's, my mom says it's good quality so I believe her um, we're using mayonnaise as our healthy fats so in order to make your salad really good you need a sour flavor you need a healthy fat so avocado olive oil mayonnaise um you need your salt and your pepper and you need your sweetness um because we already have apple in here already about sweetness we're not going to be adding that into our salad dressing and because we have mayonnaise we won't be using olive oil oh and also because we have our olive and herb spice that will help to add that olive flavor without us actually having to use olive oil because I do like the olive oil flavor in my salad. So to begin, we'll be adding one teaspoon of mayonnaise. This is vegan friendly, just by the way. We will be adding um, So teaspoon, yeah, teaspoon of balsamic vinegar. You can add as much or little balsamic vinegar depending on how sensitive you are to the sourness and how you like it. We'll add just a little sprinkle of the rosemary and olive spice, and we'll also be using green onion to bring out the flavor of the onion because we didn't use that much onion, and it's good. it's really delicious, sweet. Really, so. I'm just gonna give that a mix. I'm gonna be adding half a lemon to the salad in order to make sure that because I'm not gonna eat all the salad by myself as much as I'd like to, I'm not able to do that because I'll be having other things with my food as well. So this lemon will help that the green onion doesn't brown in the fridge while it stays there and it keeps the salad fresh so i'll be adding that to the salad directly to the salad it has nothing to do with i mean it also has to do with flavor but it has more to do with preserving the salad in the fridge the reason i'm holding my hand like this is to catch the seeds Another reason why I like to cut up my vegetables to be really small um, and bite sized because I feel like they, they catch the flavor more. The coating covers them better when they're smaller than they're bigger. I know this is weird that I mix it with a teaspoon, but you know, guys, life is not that serious. You know, just do what you gotta do, man. We're working with what we have. I don't like to waste time looking for, I want to use this specific salad spoon. Otherwise, I'm going to be itchy. No, we just use a teaspoon. It's okay. I'm going to taste. Usually, I taste the tomato to tell if the flavor is enough and a leaf. Taste. I think I'm going to add more balsamic vinegar. Just, I want it more sour, you know. Yeah, I think that's will be enough. Yeah, I think that's will be enough. 
I know that I added lemon and that should have made it more sour, but I just like that balsamic vinegar twist, you know, that different something, you know what I mean? That, that extra flavor flavor. Now that our salad is mixed, we're gonna set this in the fridge and let the juices marinate. I found that with salad, the longer it sits together in harmony and peace, you know. <laughs> what am I doing? Um, the better the flavors are and the tastier it is. So I'm just gonna put that in the fridge. This has been simmering now for about 10 minutes. Um, and now we just remove the lid and we're gonna let it simmer out with the lid off. Just pour a little bit of the water to cook out. I like my beans really, really thick, so. Mm, this looks so good. Okay, here we have two fries sausages that I'm going to be adding. This is optional, you don't have to add it. I just think it's going to add more flavor and I really like what they taste like. I really, these are my favorite sausages from the Fries brand. Um, in case you're not familiar with the Fries brand, it's a brand that makes vegan and vegetarian um, mock meat products. You can add as many or as few or even none as you like. It's up to you. I just really think it's going to add some nice, you know, Pick it up a notch. Mm, sausages are really good. It smells so good. This is gonna be so delicious. I'm so excited to eat. Now it's done. I'm gonna switch it off. Um, here we have bread. This is olive bread that I made yesterday. I just wrapped it up to keep it moist. And that's what we're gonna be having for lunch. Some sliced bread, some lovely spinach salad, and some spicy beans. How does that not sound like a perfect lunch? I'm gonna spice that up. Two humble slices. your bread you could toast it I would usually toast it but I love it just like this and now we play that Thank you. 